there is still a sense of connection, goodwill, particularly in terms of business, and that the UK should be exploiting that by trading a lot more with a part of the world where there's a really fast-growing population and fast-growing economies. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, actually, just to correct the information, I'm the president of the council, not the founder. Uh, the founder is a friend of mine, Mr. Chris Smith, who approached me in 2020, knowing my interest in, in the Midland area and my appreciation to the years I spent there. And I made my first business with a small grant uh, from the government. Uh, it was Mrs. Thatcher then, and I started a small business which had grown up into a, a, a multi-million business uh, then. Uh, I strongly believe the Midland area has a uh, huge potential in terms of industry, skilled labor, uh, knowledge, IT, automotive industry, defense, and also uh, the labor there are, are less costly than having people to work in, in, in London. But it's, it's been ignored, in my opinion, for so many years, and there's no much promotion to the British product, to investment opportunities in the area. And I think Britain, as you rightly said in your book, uh, were busy with, with Europe, uh, losing a lot of the market in the Middle East uh, to others. Talking of being in Iraq myself, and I've been visiting Iraq regularly, we, you see a Chinese product, you see a Turkish, French, German, uh, Russian, everybody. But, but you hardly British. there isn't there isn't and, and in terms and that's of tangible it. products there might be Absolutely. financial services legal services defense insurance services, maybe defense exactly like consumer goods yeah. customer facing Abs industries Absolutely absolutely and uh, I think even with a, a major contract uh, uh, in in defense in oil uh, we had president Macron 3 weeks ago came to Baghdad and signed 30 billion dollar contract for Total to build a refinery. Mm 